Hey everybody, you got a footload party slide from Jumper Beats Party Rentals. What you want to do is you want to undo this front zipper in the front. Go ahead and flip that Velcro, take that out, pull that flap open, then you're going to come around to the back side. We've got a switch right here. We're going to turn that switch off, unplug it, take this, push down on the alligator clip, go ahead and pull that tube right out. We got two vents in the back. Unzip those. It's just gonna fall any which way. After it's fallen down, you can kind of throw the hose in if you want. Then you can walk right on the unit. You can get up here. Grab the top of it. Try not to step on the netting. Kind of just pull it over. And if you can imagine how it was just standing up, you want these sides here to lean over on top of the uh, sides as well in the front. got these seams on the top you'll see them they're all uh, they all have double seams on them and it's got kind of an edge that sticks out kind of line that up with the bottom kick in the excess makes it nice and easy all these excess straps that are attached to the unit not the straps that you use to roll it up throw them in on top keep that blower tube out it's going to help you roll it Same thing on this side. If yours still has a lot of air in it, you can kind of walk the air out, just walk it towards the back, towards the tube or the vents. Once you get it relatively flat, this is that, you're going to go ahead and come over here to this side. The stair side first, it's going to make it a lot easier on you. Grab on the bottom, at the very bottom where it's black, flip it over about halfway where it's in thirds, where it's going to be. You kind of walk that air out there too, make it a little flat for yourself. Try to make this as easy as possible for you. You're gonna do the same thing on this side. Grab that bottom, flip it on top, kind of hold it down. Flip those sides over. Just like that. Walk it out again. Now you take those toe straps that you had that were attached to the unit. You want to take the metal ring in your hand, kind of hold on to that. Throw the other end. Line it up parallel. Throw it under one side, pull it out a little bit, maybe a foot, two feet. Give yourself some room. Same thing on this side. And then you're going to walk to the back here. Now down here, you want to get it tight. This is the most critical part. All right, so you want to go ahead and get in here and roll it up like a burrito, nice and tight. All right, show you that again. Doesn't take a ton of effort, just make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want to flop it or pancake it, as we say. You can also use your knees to help. Kind of hold it there with your knee. Get up under it. Push it down if one side's kind of lopsided. Then you got that air coming. You can have somebody, if you have somebody with you, step on this, kind of push that air out. That tube I had initially showed you, it's gonna help get that air out as well. So you can hold it like this, step on that.
throw that tube in. Once you hit this part, just take those straps you already set, throw them over. And depending on how you want to do it, you can use the double rings on how you normally would, or you can do it how we do it, which is relatively easy. Bring it down, go under, pull it tight, hold with one finger or two, reach in, pull a bunny loop through, just like that. Do it on both sides. Same thing, bunny loop through the hole, grab up top, pull it tight, and you're set to go. And now, lift your front load up, put it on a dolly, and bring it back.